during this presentation, um, I will put uh, emphasis on uh, the different trends uh, concerning uh, convergence and also diversification as well. And always I will try to emphasize the benefits of this convergence and, and diversification trends as well. Also, uh, I will try to follow a pragmatic approach. So uh, you will see uh, uh, almost uh, everywhere uh, different uh, use cases, uh, different uh, um, uh, practical considerations as well. But on the other hand, uh, some principles uh, will be also uh, highlighted. Okay, so concerning uh, the agenda, uh, my presentation uh, will have three parts. The first part, first part will focus on uh, the different stepping stones, how we can uh, get uh, reference architectures, what, are, uh, what, what, what is the history of uh, reference architectures. And after that, uh, in the uh, second part, uh, I will try to uh, give you some overview uh, uh, about some activities, uh, some ongoing activities about uh, smart and orchestrated reference architectures. And the last part uh, will show you some um, application and uh, development areas since uh, uh, there are some ongoing uh, activities and uh, European projects where these reference architectures uh, are under development or uh, will be developed in the near future. And uh, also I have to mention that uh, all these uh, uh, principles and all these uh, uh, pragmatic uh, approaches uh, we have a strong focus on cyber physical systems, especially the cyber physical production systems. Here uh, in this map, just to put uh, these uh, um, cyber physical production systems into context, you can see a map uh, about Europe and uh, that uh, the different initiatives on digitizing uh, uh, industry. You can see uh, different countries and the different uh, national initiatives uh, in order to uh, uh, help and uh, facilitate the different uh, Industry 4.0 related uh, activities. For example, in France, Spain, and, and Germany, there are very, very advanced uh, uh, platforms uh, for Industry 4.0. But also uh, in Hungary, uh, uh, a few years ago, we initiated the, the IPAR 8.0 or Industry 4.0 National Technology Platform with uh, more than 100 uh, uh, industrial participants. Here you can see um, uh, an example from one of our 